guys welcome to monitoring and evaluation made simple i'm your host coach alexander i'm so glad you've joined me again so we're going to be looking at the kpi lens monitoring and evaluation software for those of you who saw my first and second video i'm sure you get the point by now and i'm sure you're itching just to know what is inside this wonderful wonderful software well, I have to tell you, first of all, that I usually like to start from the beginning. So I mentioned this, that if you guys are really looking to start using this software, it's really about you taking the initiative to request for a demo. OK, so if you go to the website, the website is actually here. I'll post it in the description in case um, in case you you don't know the link. So I'll post it in the description. So all you have to do is press this press this button and request for a demo so after you click that button it's going to depending on how quick your internet speed is you're going to be directed to another part of this site so i don't know why it it, it always takes time when it, for me but i know for you guys it may it may take a bit of some short time i think it's the internet in my case okay so now while it's loading, let me show you what happens when you request for a demo, okay? Let me show you what happens when you request. All right, so I requested for a demo on April 20th, all right? So what happens is that after you've completed the process, you get an email. So as you can see, I'm using the M&D. By the way, if you want to get in touch with me, there's another email that we use it's called m and made simple at yahoo.com you can write to us there so this is the the email we use to request for the demo so what happens is that uh, they're going to send you an email they'll say hello coach alexander welcome to kpi lens okay one of their representatives will will actually come to talk to you okay so what is the goal of them having this email sent to you our goal with the first conversation is to make sure you understand our product and the possibilities that it offers to you and your organization as possible. You can schedule a time on the calendar, okay? So really what they're trying to do, do you know how it is, how it feels when somebody sells you something and you get, you buy that product and you're not able to use it because you don't know how to use it, all right? But with these guys, it's totally different. They want to help you actually know how to use this product. And they want to make sure that you understand what this product is all about. Okay. So let's go, let's get back to the other window so that we, we try to uh, continue where we left off. Just a second. All right. So right now I'm on the KPI lens um login uh, page so when you get your demo they are going to okay actually uh, the, when you get your demo or even when you you sign up to start using their software you're going to be given login details 
and I must mention that this uh, this website is secure, so you don't need to worry about anything. But I would always advise, I always advise my clients and even the persons that I coach from time to time that if you are going to have um, a, a, an account opened with any any website, make sure you create a strong password so that you don't get your you know your your account hacked into. Okay, so let me log into my my KPI lens so that we get to understand what exactly is behind the dashboard, okay? So this video, today's video, I'm just going to be showing you what is actually behind the dashboard. I mean, or what is in the dashboard. I don't know if I'm using the correct terms, but I'm sure you get the point. So let me just type it in my login details and we are going to, we are going to obviously get in. Okay, so as you can see, we are in the KPI Lens uh, workspace. So the way it is, they're saying work, workspace manager, all right? But um, uh, because I, I registered as a manager, but there are other portfolios you can register as. So the way it is, is this is the dashboard, okay? This is the dashboard. And in case you have any technical challenges, you can write to the support team. They respond within minutes, all right? I've, I've tested them before, so I know. They respond within minutes. Sometimes I would actually advise, if it's possible, you can build a personal relationship with one of their representatives so that you get in touch via via Facebook uh, Messenger. So as you can see, this is my account. There, there I am, Coach Alexander, that's me. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes my internet is slow, but it's not an issue with the website. The website is is behaving fine. So now, you've got the workspace. All right, and you've got already, I, I was just trying to play around with stuff, but um, let's, let's, let's read what they say. It says, workspaces let you collaborate with teams, add permissions, share organization, define monitoring frameworks across a whole project team under a billing account. So if you want a new workspace, you simply click there. Okay, so let's click. Let's see what happens. Fine. So. As you can see, it has clicked and you have a new workspace. So all you can do, you can name your workspace, okay? Uh, if you want, you can name it after a, a project, okay? Like you see, I, I said rural development project, but if you want, you can name a, a different project that you're doing. Let's, let's uh, say you are, you are working for the United Nations, okay? Just as an example, not that we are trying to say anything about the UN, but they are a prestigious organization, and I want them, if there's any representative watching this video, they should try this software. Okay, so you say UNHCR project 2021 to 2025, okay? Then you can, you can add a short description, okay? This project has been designed to support refugees. Okay, so this is what the UNHCR does. So you create. Okay, so you give it time to create and it's going to create. Okay, it's going to create. So now the, you, you have this, I just named it that way because for easy, identification so as you can see they give you the overview information obviously when you populate all these sections you, you they'll give you that information you, it will be a summary of the information you can invite team members okay so you, you can type in their emails and invite them and then you can create a new project so now what i'm what i know is that since this is uh, this is the overall. You can say, okay, under UNHCR, there are these other kinds of projects, okay? And then for each project, you can have a specific logical framework. <clears throat> so what happens? The project has been created. Wonderful. I'm, I'm loving this, okay? 
I'm so loving this. So this is project one. Uh, so where, where are the... All right, so as you can see, over here you can create a form, okay? So you can see how beautiful this is. It is giving you that opportunity to actually have data collection forms created and then you can integrate them with any device, okay? So this was an example of something that I created, but let's look at something that I did some time ago. Okay, so as you can see also here, when you come to these other forms that I created some time ago, which was work in progress, you simply just have to click this button, create new form, and you have a data collection sheet. It even mentions my name, Coach Alexander. I've not yet published this. So in essence, what I'm saying essentially is that this thing can be used to create data collection tools. And these data collection tools can help you undertake the various activities that you want to do in your monitoring and evaluation uh, of the projects that you have. So I really hope you enjoyed this uh, short video. And uh, in the next video, we're going to really now dig deeper into understanding how this, this KPI Lens monitoring and evaluation software actually works. So without wasting any more time, I really appreciate the good positive emails you write to me. Until we meet again, I've been your host, Coach Alexander, and see you on the other side. Bye.